That's OTA has launched a new ETOL defensive umbrella campaign to provide legal support to members summonsed for non-payment of ETOL fees. Now this follows an announcement by Sanral that Gauteng Road users are eligible for a 60% reduction of their ETOL debts. OTA spokesperson Wayne Duvenage joins us on the News Today desk this afternoon. Good afternoon, Wayne. Always a pleasure chatting to you. Thank you. Uh, uh, you feel strongly that the new discount scheme will fail. Uh, tell us why. There's still issues around enforceability and public compliance, you say? Yes. Uh, look, if people are going to comply and buy into the system, they mm -hmm. would have gone for the current rate, which is the rate that they're charging now, 30 cents per kilometre, right from the beginning. But they've lost the public on this. They've lost them for many reasons. The fact that, and I want to talk about the exorbitant cost of collection at 1 billion rand. Mm -hmm. Losing money is in relation to what? In relation to the debt you need to collect to settle, which is 2 billion rand. Mm -hmm. doesn't make sense to have to use 1 billion rand to pay off the collection process and you're not trying to settle a road debt of 2 billion rand per annum. So um, we don't believe that this 60% uh, new dispensation is going to change matters mm -hmm. much. Uh, in fact, middle of last year, after threatening motorists, sending SMSs and, and, and posts uh, of, of, of criminal action and summonsing people for payment, the maximum they could get compliance levels to was around about between 40 and 45%. Mm. That's dropped right off to 25% now. If this pushes that up to 40%, that's not a success in any user pay scheme. User pay schemes mean all users must pay. Mm -hmm. And our research shows in these schemes around the world, when you get below 80%, they fail. This one has failed before it even started. All the warning signs were there. And I think this new carrot is really, a, mm -hmm. uh, it's mm -hmm. not going to work. Uh, but surely it will help to some degree to elevate <coughs> compliance levels, uh, even a little. I mean, yeah, uh, it will little. serve so as some sort of incentive yeah. uh, to pay right now, uh, perhaps back to levels we saw in June last year. Yeah, that's what we've indicated. At yes. best, they might get there. I think mm -hmm. they've lost even more of the people. You know, when they got to 45%, mm -hmm. for various reasons, uh, some being the fact that they cannot prosecute, uh, that was m announced by the minister, mm -hmm. um, and that the compliance uh, process enforcement is, is a problem for them, mm -hmm. that the minister, uh, uh, the, the premier, Makura, launched his panel. All of those things, people said, look, I've had enough, and, uh, and they've dropped off the compliance down to 25% mm -hmm. now. So if they push it back up to 45, it was failing at that mm -hmm. level. All right. Earlier this year, government said Sandra will be aligning its e-tolls database uh, with a vehicle registration mm. uh, database mm. within the year. Uh, now, this could mean that motorist vehicle license discs, uh, well, it could be withheld for non-payment. Is that still the case? Well, uh, quite interesting. Is that even they, legal? They threatened that. No, we don't believe it's legal, and we will certainly change it in court. Now, they threatened that. Mm. Uh, they brought out new gazettes around changes to the regulatory environment and they left that one out. They've left it out so it's very uh, obvious uh, that they probably realise that they cannot enforce that. They cannot, uh, you know, it's, it's like trying to use the electricity bill to, 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 to force compliance on something else in, 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 in the uh, whole tax scheme. So, mm -hmm. so we believe that um, that has massive unintended consequences, losses of revenue, people will drive without licences and so we don't think that that's going to work. If they do introduce it, we will defend anyone whose license is withheld as a result of non-paid e-toll bills. All right, very quickly, Wayne, we are running out of time. Uh, can you elaborate on the e-toll defensive umbrella you've got yeah. set up, uh, and how do members of the public reach you? What services do you have on offer right now? Okay, so that's that's exactly what we're talking about now we, when we support our members. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we're a civil action movement. We rely on donations. That's all it is. What we've decided to do is include now and introduce a defensive umbrella. If anyone is summoned by Senate for non-payment of e-toll bills and they're an outer contributing member uh, then we will defend them in court. Uh, to become an outer contributing member you just go to outer.co.za mm -hmm. uh, and you click on the contribute here and become a member. If you want uh, we'll send you a form via SMS so if you SMS 35005 uh, with the word join and then we will respond to that and we will uh, help the citizens fight off this absolute nonsensical, farcical, uh, uh, totally ir irrational scheme. All right, that was Ota spokesperson Wayne Duvenage joining us on the SABC News Desk coming up after the break.